Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be telling you about the static and dynamic partitioning in ADSO. And this tutorial is relevant for SAP BW for Hire. If you are going to create DTO, the data tiering optimization for an ADSO, then you have to go through one of the partitioning system that is static or dynamic partitioning. So that I will be telling you what is this partitioning and how to do this. And this is a one screen image for an ADO. So you can see that you know, we have this data tiering properties like hot data, warm data and cold data. So suppose you want to select to cold data or warm data. In that cases, you have to set the properties for this uh, partitioning then you have to go to the option called setting so in the setting you will find this option called partitioning so here you would get two options one is called static partitioning and the other option is called dynamic partitioning so when we should select which one that i will be telling you first i will be telling you for static partitioning In the static partitioning meaning that once you click on the static partitioning then it will ask you to uh, provide the low value and high value of any date field meaning that any time characteristics should be there if it is suppose calendar year then you have to give the year values if it is uh, some cal day then you have to provide the lower value of calendar day higher value of calendar day so you have to create some partitioning of uh, so that the data can be stored in those partitioning and also you need to remember that each partition should not exit 2 billion records and that's the sap recommended so each partition should have data within 2 billion records and that's the case for static partitioning and if and let me tell you that if the ADSO is already containing some data and now we want to enable DTO for that ADSO then you cannot go with dynamic partitioning because dynamic partitioning does not support if the ADSO has already data if the already data is there then you have to go with the static partitioning and next I'm coming with this dynamic partitioning so in the dynamic partitioning uh, is enabled or you can enable when there is no data into the ADSO or if you are creating a ADSO for the first time and uh, so it don't it doesn't have any data in that case you get option to uh, to create with the dynamic partitioning and here you will get this partitioning granularity with the time characteristics and this time characteristic has to be in your key field like here the fiscal year has been chosen so that this fiscal year has to be into the key fields of your ADSO uh, configuration so it is also same for static partitioning so whatever field you choose here like here fiscal CPR so this field has to be into the key so that's the main concept about static partitioning and dynamic partitioning and you cannot change from static to dynamic partitioning yes you can do it but you have to delete the entire data then you select then you can choose this dynamic partitioning that's the concept and also if you if you have any existing ADSO and there if you do this static partitioning then to activate the ADSO you have to go with the remodeling job you have to perform the remodeling job to activate the ADSO so that's a small concept about this static and dynamic partitioning I hope I have provided the information you need please feel free to ask question in the comment if you want to know more about partitioning DTO or BW for HANA.
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग